In 12D, we can have underground utilities modeled as strings which have diameters applied. So the strings show as 3D objects. We can use any of our plan, section, or perspective views to view these utilities. In our project, we have two utilities, a sewer and a water service, which we'll add to the plan view first by adding the models survey sewer and survey UT water. And we can see where those existing services cross our road design. I'll fix the perspective view to the top right of the screen. We have the LS section view in the bottom right, so we'll profile the road super alignment in this view. Then add the same survey sewer and survey UT water models to this view as well. Then we can see in the section view where these existing services vertically cross the super alignment and at what chainage. Alternatively, we can profile the utilities directly in the section view. So I'll profile the survey UT water string, select the profile icon, then pick and accept on the water string. And we can see the vertical geometry of the water utility along its alignment. Now with this utility profiled, to appreciate where this sits relative to the current road design, we'll add on the model TIN RS1. Then you can see clearly that if we keep the road design as it is, we're going to have some issues with the existing water utility. And if I profile the sewer as well, so I select the profile icon, then pick and accept the sewer string, that we're going to have a problem with the sewer as well. We can also view these utilities in the perspective view. And this is really to get a visual appreciation of where these utilities sit. So I'll add both these models to the perspective view as well. And there you can see where these existing utilities sit. So we have two choices at this point to fix the design. The first is to lift up the road and go over the existing utilities. And the second is to relocate the utilities deeper underneath the road. The decision you'll end up making is basically whichever one is easier to do. The size of the utility is an important consideration because the size usually indicates the number of households or businesses that the water and sewer mains service. So to find this out, we can just select F2 for string inquire, then left click on the water main. And as long as we have the info snap toggled on, then we'll get this info panel. And we can see in the second last field in this panel, we have a 250 millimeter diameter water main and also a 225 millimeter diameter sewer. So not huge diameters, but not insignificant by any stretch. The utilities would both need to be shut down, relocated to deflect under the road and made operational again. Now there's no operational issue with the water main deflecting under the road because it's a pressure service, but the sewer is a different story because sewers are usually gravity services. You're not allowed to deflect a gravity sewer locally as it will cause a localized low point, which will trap gases and then cause safety concerns. So unless we have the depth to lower the entire sewer on the downstream side of the road, which would come at a huge cost, relocating these services is going to be very difficult and costly. So let's look at the other option, which is raising the road. I'll profile the super alignment in the section view. And you'll notice that within this localized chainage range around the utilities, we're really cutting through the mound unnecessarily. So we'll edit the vertical geometry of the road to go over these utilities. To do that, we'll select F6 for string edit, then pick and accept on the super alignment. to open the super alignment edit toolbar. I'll hold down the second icon to move VIP number two, then select the fifth icon down, which is extend by length. Then pick VIP number two, 
and accept. And enter a length of 150 meters to extend this VIP. And enter. This will increase the chainage location of VIP2 by 150 meters, but maintain the grade between existing VIPs number one and number two of negative 0 0.679. Now, because the grade change occurring at this intersection point has increased, we need to make the vertical curve longer. So we'll again hold down the second icon on the super alignment edit toolbar and pick change curve, which is fourth from the bottom. Then pick it accept again on VIP number two and enter a vertical curve of 100 meters. And now that we've updated the super alignment, we need to update the design strings, cross sections, and road tin. So we need to go back into design, apply, apply template, pick the function that we created before from the list, which is RS1. All the details we filled out before will be repopulated into the panel. And all we need to do now is select apply and the strings cross-sections and road tin will be updated, taking into account the new centerline vertical geometry. We can finish on this panel and save and close the super alignment edit toolbar. And all we need to do to view our new design is redraw the perspective view by zooming in and out and the view will refresh. And now we don't have so much cut in the area of those utilities because we've rerouted our road over the utilities. I'll lastly profile the water main. And you can see the utility is clear of the road tin now by upwards of four meters. So we won't need to be concerned with the utilities potentially conflicting with our pavement. However, in the real world, when these utilities are much closer to the existing surface, we'll need to take into account the depth of pavement as well as the required clearance from the pavement to the utility itself when designing our roads. 